I'm using Life9 now for quite a while. I played some shows with it, with my band and as a solo artist. It has been very stable, the workflow was very fluent. And then slowly I started to get more and more into the new features. The integration of Max for Life and Live comes to a new state. There are loads of new devices. My favorite at the moment is a MIDI Echo. I often use it with the simpler, having like a small percussion sound, the MIDI Echo in front and it creates immediately crazy stuff. library in Life9 is completely redesigned. It's very easy to use now. Now you have all the samples in one slot, so you can easily drag and drop them into a MIDI slot and it automatically generates a simpler device. I use that a lot for like percussion sounds. I drag in a conga sound and play that in different tunes. Another nice feature in Max for Life is a convolution reverb. I was waiting for it for a long time and now it's there and it's working really nice. There are many presets, but you also can drag and drop the impulse responses. My favorite one is Wooden Room. It's very nice for all kinds of percussion, especially like digital percussion. It gives them a certain depth. A great new thing is the automation in the session view. In the recording mode you can constantly overwrite the automation so you can find your best flow. finish with it you can go back into the clip mode and you see all the automation and you can easily change it in a very good and quick way. That is a very great feature which I will use intensely. My way of producing is very spontaneous and many of the new uh, features in Life9 help me to uh, find a very quick and creative way uh, through my uh, music and my tracks and my ideas. Mm -hmm. 